Hello everyone and welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm Catherine, so happy to have you here today. And in this video, I'm gonna be working on my little minis. I like to make these every year around the holiday season. I keep some of my artwork in a local shop here where I live and during the holidays, I like to go down and sit with some of my pieces on Saturdays and sell them. I find people really like these little minis for Christmas gifts for teachers and uh, just people they need to buy gifts for during this time of year. So I cut four by four inch uh, MDF and birch wood boards and I primed them twice with two coats of white gesso and then sanded them. And here I'm using my epoxy sculpt to create some barriers, which you saw I already laid down with a pen uh, to kind of know where I wanted to put these down, create the shapes that I wanted. This is my favorite part here is prepping the boards. I love picking out the colors. I find this part so relaxing, so therapeutic. Uh, even as I was editing this video and just watching myself paint, I was becoming very relaxed <laughs> just watching myself paint. And I am going to add some crackle to these, which I'm, I love, love, love the crackle that I get from Laura's Art Corner, which you can find in the video description. Um, I do have a little discount code for her shop too if you want to check that out. Um, as always with all of my videos, Everything that I use will be listed in the description for you guys to find if you want to buy it for yourself. I know that that can be helpful. I know when I'm looking for stuff in a video, I really like it when it's in the description for me. So just going through here showing you, um, you know, it is a process getting all of these painted. Sometimes I'll do two layers if I want a really nice opaque look in the back, but usually it's just to sort of get my background laid down. It's not crucial this part uh, with all the acrylic paint. Adding the crackle now, I decided to go with the silver on these. I just use a little brush. It's pretty flat and thin. I can get a good application. Uh, you can be pretty heavy handed with the crackle. I find the heavier handed I am, the thicker the cracks will be. If I'm a little lighter handed or it's not quite, it's not very thick, uh, the cracks will be finer and thinner. So just whatever look you're going for. And I do continue to do it around the sides here, so we have that continuation of the look. Uh, you do want to do the crackle over acrylic paint because it needs something to adhere to. And I prefer to do it with the darker paint colors behind it because then I find you get a really nice contrast with the crackle with the dark color as your base. And just showing these with the gold crackle. I let those sit overnight and you can see how pretty that crackle is now all set up. And I'm laying in some sel selenite crystals uh, that I got from Laura's Art Corner. I'm not sure if she still has those. I got them a while ago, but um, love, love, love this Rose Quartz uh, Rebel Glitter by Just For You Online UK, which you can find in my store. Sorry for the camera there. Sometimes when my kids come in and touch my tripod and it, it jars it a little bit, so I apologize. Uh, but all these glitters that you see sitting up there, you can find in my store, dryerdaysartstudio.com. And the little stones that you see up there to the left are actually Swarovski rhinestones that I got from a family friend. Uh, and I keep those for personal use. Um, but just showing how that you can use them. I prefer to use hot glue with these stones because the hot glue firms up pretty quickly. And I can come in with my little tweezers and kind of get those little tiny rhinestones right where I want them. Uh, face up or face down. Because they can kind of go all over the place. 
Uh, using hot glue here too to put these pink vase fillers in. You can also just use clear glue for this portion as well. I just had my hot glue gun out and decided to, to use that, but you can use either. The Elmer's clear glue obviously will just take longer to dry too, so if you're kind of in a hurry and want to get these done, uh, the hot glue gun will dry pretty, pretty quickly and you can get rolling on other stuff. That's one of my favorite glitters right there. It is the Fine Mermaid Glitter by Just For You Online UK. Uh, and then they actually have a mermaid crushed glass, which I'm going to lay down right here. So that glass was made infused with their mermaid glitter. Uh, there are several different colors. They are all available in my online store. This is one of my favorite ones right here. I like the more uh, simple simple pieces and I just love this with the black, white, gray, and silver. That is a white stone there too in the middle which is also part of the new stones from Just For You Online UK and that is black opal rebel glitter. So what I'm doing here is I'm just getting all of them prepped. I'm putting all the glitter where I want it, I'm getting stones where I want them, rhinestones where I want them, and getting them all ready for resin. As you can see, kind of time consuming. Then I tape the edges of all of them. I'm going to start with my purple ones. I'm using the new Vineyard pigment paste from Just For You Online UK. I mixed it there with my resin and I am using the epoxy resin by Just For You Online UK. Again, broken record, but you can find that in my store. It's a beautiful, beautiful deep purple color. And just drizzling a little bit on because I am going to incorporate some other pigments with this too. This is the fine purple glitter by Just For You Online UK. And again, I really like to start with the dark color and add the lighter on top so that it really makes those pop out and show. The contrast is just beautiful. Just using clear resin. You'll see with a lot of these, I do use just a lot of clear. Um, and obviously these are so little, you barely need any resin. So. What I like to do is mix up just a big, big batch of the clear and use those tiny little silicone cups to add just a little bit of pigment to a little bit of resin and work on them color coded as I go. So like right now I'm working on the purple, then I'll work on all the gold ones, then I'll work on all the blue ones uh, just to keep things kind of together. Uh, there I was using the silver metallic by Just For You Online UK that comes in a set with the gold. And using an orange stick to move stuff around a little bit, give me a few effects. There's that silver again. And I'm going to kind of fly through uh, the rest of these how I made them because you'll sort of get the gist. Um, I just wanted to show making these on such a smaller wooden panel, uh, how that works. And like I said, these make great gifts. I find people really like them around the holidays and I wanted to show you guys how I make mine.
Once the resin had cured for about 24 hours, I did add some lines using my Uni Posca markers. Uh, you can find that in almost any of my other videos, how I add detailing. I just did not want you to um, have to watch me do this entire process because it can be very lengthy and I didn't want to bore you. This video is already getting pretty long. So if you want to see how I add lines, uh, you can check out any other videos from me and see how I laid those lines down. Uh, after I did put the lines down in the in the markers, I decided that we should probably do a flood coat over these. So I buy a lot of stuff from Amazon. As a lot of you know, I'm an Amazon affiliate with a bunch of links for products and tools for you guys. And um, so I order a lot of stuff myself. And what I do is I tear off the top flaps and then I have this in nice cardboard container. And as you can see there, I just put pretty sturdy, these are not like normal Dixie cups. They're really, really sturdy cups. They are paper. Um, and I just set these little minis right on top of them to keep them uh, set up and just coming around doing a clear flood coat on all of these little minis to keep them nice and protected. I was working on finishing up this little crescent moon I started a long time ago too but I still don't feel like it's finished so I'm gonna work on that one a little more you guys will probably see it in the future maybe in a giveaway or something but now here they are all finished just looking lovely I do have these up in my dryer days art studio store available for sale along with a couple other ones that I did earlier in the year that are not featured in this video couple really pretty green and blue ones so if you want to go to dryerdaysartstudio.com and check those out I would sure love it I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video please like comment and subscribe come find me over on Instagram at dryerdays and until next time everybody keep on pouring <laughs>